Hey there, Eric Francis here, friendly neighborhood astrologer with some news for Pisces, Pisces rising and Pisces moon. Uh, in a little while, once I finish this video, I'm going to begin the Pisces astrology studio reading for 2021 called Every Decision You Make. I'll say more about that in a second, but I wanted to say a little bit about the uh, the Astrology Studio series of readings, um, which is that uh, these are an affordable, very high quality, very useful uh, set of readings that I've been doing now since about 2010. I do them right around uh, the time the sun changes signs, and they apply to the sign and the rising sign. Uh, they are not uh, readings of your natal chart. They're, they're readings of a, a chart that I create like this, and then I read the chart. Uh, so I create a chart, basically, based on the current positions of the planets and also from my knowledge of re recent events. And, um, and then I tell the story, basically. And, um, you know, I am fond of saying that there is no astrology. There are only astrologers who say things, and they say that it's astrology because the astrology you get is only as good as the astrologer that you get. And what you get is their worldview. You get their knowledge base. You get their, um, you, you, you get a sense of the personal work that they have done uh, from, uh, from what they are saying. And ideally, you know, you, you get someone who, uh, takes care of themselves and is interested in, in taking care of the world. And um, what I like about my readings the most is, um, if I were somebody who was encountering them as a customer, uh, is that they are always solution-oriented, uh, they are positive, and I see the very best of your potential and uh, do my very best to bring it out for you to, or explain to you, know, point to you what, what your assets uh, that you're working with. And then where there are challenging aspects, I do my best to uh, tur turn them into opportunities. Uh, this is not any kind of like a um, goody goody thing. It really is about uh, strategizing and uh, un understanding the, the way the forces of nature are working together w with you and uh, encourage you to take the opportunities that are available and to face the challenges that are, uh, are, are, are sent your way. Uh, and so this is astrology, but uh, I am a kind of a motivational speaker, but I'm doing so with the, the detail of being able to speak to um, specific uh, timing and subject matter. And the subject matter of, uh, of Pisces right now is um, it, there's, there's two things. Uh, first of all, uh, this whole huge collection of planets, really quite impressive. This was the, uh, the new moon in Aquarius a couple of weeks ago. Um, have now gone into uh, an angle. Well, they are in an angle in your chart that's called the 12th house. We find that right here. Let's see house number 12. So uh, the 12th house uh, for Pisces is Aquarius. So you might say that Aquarius is the sign Pisces for Pisces. And that is a, ver a very positive thing for you. And uh, one, one of the most beneficial things is it, it gives you a little bit more seclusion and and privacy and also helps you orient on your inner authority and your inner authority is what you use to navigate your way through life as i as i use the term uh, your your inner authority is your <clears throat> fully embracing your power of choice and and the reason i've called this to this uh, reading every decision you make uh, or uh, I think more, uh, more uh, the more extended title is um, well. I'm going to read the I'm going to read a little passage from a, a Course in Miracles where I uh, learned this idea. Um, is because um, you may be following this. Uh, the ne planet Neptune is in your sign. Uh, this is a very strong influence in the experience of all people with Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising to have Neptune. Uh, go, going right through your sign, there's a number of uh, qualities that it that, that it has, including a, a sense of isolation that, that might not be real, a sense of feeling invisible that might not be real, um, and also uh, a kind of enhanced uh, clairvoyance and, and intuition that gives you the ability to know things that you might not ordinarily know. Uh, and it is square the lunar nodes. So the lunar nodes are currently in Pi, uh, uh, Sag and Gemini, 
and this the business of Neptune square the lunar nodes uh, is is driving a lot of people crazy. Now, um, if you're like a lot of astrology students and uh, like I was for a while at the beginning of my study, it's like, what's the lunar nodes? Well, uh, the, the lunar nodes are, 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 you might say they're a force to be reckoned with. Uh, you might say that it's kind of like a um, karmic wind tunnel blowing through the chart. And anything that is square to the lunar nodes is, think of it as being right in right in the middle of, of, of the lunar nodes. Well, 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 I've got a pencil here. I'm going to draw Neptune there to, um, to, to make the point. It's in pencil, not purple. I'm going to change it in a second. Okay, so uh, you're having to reckon with Neptune in, in your sign. Uh, and, and this is presenting a challenge, uh, but it is uh, an incredible opportunity for Pisces. Um, as you know, I'm an astrology consultant, uh, and um, you, you'd be amused by who some of my clients are and have been over the years. I am very good at helping people uh, manifest their creativity uh, and uh, kind of tune up the boundaries in their relationships um, and, uh, and, and mainly helping people feel good about themselves and their lives um, and, the, and the power of decision. I want to read for you a small... Uh, a short passage from A Course in Miracles that um, that I, I printed. I feel so strongly about this that I put it right at the front of my, uh, my, my, my first, let's say, large collection. It's not that large, <laughs> but for poetry it is, of, um, of, of, po of, of poems uh, from A Course in Miracles. And, and here, here is what it says, and, and these, are, these are words that I live by. There is a deep responsibility you owe yourself, and one you must learn to remember all the time. The lesson may seem hard at first, but you'll learn to love it when you realize that it's true and is but a tribute to your power. You who have sought and found littleness, remember this. Every decision you make stems from what you think you are and represents the value that you put upon yourself. Believe that the little can content you, and by limiting yourself, you will not be satisfied. For your function is not little, and it is only by finding your function and fulfilling it that you can escape from littleness. So, be your full stature, Pisces. I plan to have this reading up tonight. Uh, may, may, it may go up a bit late, but it will uh, go up sometime uh, before midnight Eastern Time uh, on, uh, on, on Friday the 19th. Um, my phone rang. I got rid of it. Um, and uh, I'm now going to uh, say thank you and thanks for being a Planet Waves reader and customer. Uh, these readings go a long way to support the company and I, I make them affordable, uh, charging one less than like one uh, eleventh of what I charge for a one hour consultation. And uh, these readings get you much of the way there. Okay, so thank you. Thank you for your trust. And uh, I'll catch you a little bit later on. Bye for now.